All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting discussion, we're trying to see some of the anal analytics right for Streamlit. So we have, if you go back to your share.streamlit.io, there's a very nice feature in case you have Streamlit. If you deploy it on Streamlit Cloud, this is a very nice feature in which you can see the various people that have been using your app, right? So let's explore it. So if I come back here, right, this is my account on share.streamlit.io. I just have two apps. If I want to see more information about it, I just come back to analytics, click on this one. I go to see your workspace, right? So for your workspace, we have the number of users who have viewed at least one of your apps, right, in a given month. So in the month of April, so this was an amount, 18, not bad. Then it went to 34. Then it went to 30, yeah, 34 again. Then it went up to 54, right? So this is a very nice feature. Which allows you to be able to see how much your app is doing. If I come back to the app view, app view, as you can also see all the people who have recently viewed your app, right? Very, very cool. And then Streamlit is smart in that it encrypt these ones, right? So that it's not like revealing a lot of data. Around. Very cool. That is something very nice that I wanted to share with you with the Streamlit analysis. So we're deploying a new app. So this app that you want to deploy. So this is a simple app that we have built. So we want to deploy it on Streamlit Cloud. So let's see how to do that in this tutorial. So this is the app which is already running. So in another tutorial, I'm going to build the app from scratch. So if you paste in any code, right, study code analyzer. If I click on analyze, it's going to analyze the entire code for us. So you can see the original code here, very very cool, right? And then you can see the raw study code analyzer matrix, the lines of code, logical lines of code and the rest. And then you can also see the maintainability index and the cyclomatic complexity, as well as the house steel matrix. Very cool. That is one of them. If I come back to the reserve, you can see the reserve keywords, the total percentage for the reserve keywords. And you can also see, also see the cloud, code cloud, right, for the most dominant words within our test, the word frequency, and then the pie chart, right? Very cool. That's not the only thing. You can also see the identifiers and also the ASD. So we're trying to see how to deploy this app on streaming. So I'll go back again to my workspace. So there's the app. Go back to my workspace. That's where it's working. I'm going to put it on my GitHub from here. I'm going to push it here. Right. So let's go back to my GitHub. This on your stack is private. I'm going to create another directory or repository somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to switch to my personal directory and let's call this static. Let's give it a name. So static code analysis. Otherwise, it's going to be so long. So static code analysis, right? Something like that. Yeah, that is the name of the app. So static code analyzer. It's streamlit. So this is streamlit. Static code analyzer app. So Right, so I'm keeping it as public. You can also make it private and it's still going to work, right? That is a nice thing about it. So let's make it, yeah, let's make it public and then we'll switch later on, right? So let's keep it as Python. So because I don't want to commit the virtual environment, create the repository. So study code analysis app. Yeah, and I'm going to clone this here. Go back to my space. So let's go back here. Yeah. Then I'm going to get clone it, right? I'm going to put the other one there. So we have my static analysis. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. So that's why I'm going to move through it. As a matter of fact, there is already one there already. <laughs> so you have to find a way of figuring out. So I'll move into the one we created. Yeah, this one. As you can see, there's nothing here. So I'm going to move the one, this one that is running to that particular one. So I'm going to paste all of them here. So let's paste it here, right? And now we can commit it, right? So, so get status, as you can see, it has been here, it is here. So get add dot and get commit. So let's call it as dash M, let's give it a name. So add static code. Up and get push. It's going to push it perfectly there. 
just pushed it here so if i refresh this one you can see that my app is here right and i want to deploy it on streamlit cloud so how do i do that and then later on you monitor the activity so i just come back here then either you can click on the new or go to from existing repository then i can now put in the repository which is this first one right if i click on this one then i'll just click on deploy so we see that i have some advanced settings here in case you have a uh, secret keys you have environment variables and you want to keep it there you can put them here right and you can just save it right but there is none there like that okay and this is the path to the main file so in our case we don't have anything like that so i have to just go back here based on what we have here our main app is app.py right so i have to change it to app.py so app.py if it gives you the blue that means that it is available and if i click on deploy Take some time for it to run one two three four five that is very very fast so your app is in the oven so it's going to deploy it's going to install the requirements together with everything provisioning behind the scene then you can see your app deployed and voila see that the app is already deployed right so you can actually test it out you can paste it in code so let's try and see if i paste in your code yeah let's pick in some code and paste it here I have some code here. I want to see if the app is working as expected. Let's copy this one here. So, copying the entire stuff. And then I'm going to analyze it on the app, right? So, if I paste it here, click on analyze. It's going to show me the original code, which is a very nice feature out of the box. I did the original code that was pasted. Very cool. You can also see the raw metrics let me make it bigger so you can see you can see the meta maintainability index cyclomatic complexity together with the house steel matrix and let's go to the reserved keywords you see that we have the reserved keywords which is very nice be done we have the identified right that is all the different words there and you can see the code cloud right which is very cool so let me know your opinion about this app right you also have the est I've just sent a stream for the code. That is something very simple, right? So you can, you have to, in case you like, you can just start it here, right? And then you can also share it out, right, for others. So that is something very nice with Streamlit sharing. It's very easy. If I come back to the manage here, I click on the manage, and I can see how it was deployed, how it installed all the various things there, right? So it installed Streamlit, click all the various packages then it provisioned our app for us very cool you can also see some busy stuff there you can get an analysis you can repeat the app you can delete it you can also check the settings for more right so you can also invite other people to and in case you add some secret environment you can also come back here and check it so with time as time goes on we will come back to the app and check the analytics to see how much the app is doing right for now there's not a lot of people viewing it except one person right so thank you for watching this tutorial so see you in the next session stay blessed bye